title of this writing is The Power of Willpower. Willpower is weak and powerful at the same time. It's most often the initiator and rarely the finisher. Living on a diet of willpower will make you heavy with failure. Willpower gets bad rap, though, and deservedly so, because it's so misinterpreted and misused. Now, I'd like to make a case for willpower and give it its proper due. Think of willpower as the match that's used to light the fuse on a bomb. The match can ensure that the fuse won't fizzle out and fail to detonate the explosion necessary to get what you want. But without the match, the process may never begin. Willpower is a sprinter, not a marathoner, yet we treat it as such and we attempt to use its power for the long haul. That's like selecting a chainsaw to prune your bonsai tree. Willpower is the initial action, period. When you attempt to extend it past its role, you inflict harm on yourself and others. You cause yourself unnecessary pain and failure, and you pollute those you have influence over with pseudoscience. Willpowerers claim to have the answer, but fail to recognize it's only the answer to the first question on a lengthy exam. It takes willpower to begin a long journey, but if it's the only thing in your backpack, it's highly unlikely you'll make it to the mountaintop. Look at someone who uses willpower almost exclusively. What you'll notice is someone devoid of satisfaction. Their life is a task, and they rarely bask in what they've accomplished because their focus is on the next project. Willpower for them is like the drug amphetamine that keeps them from resting and reflecting long enough to discover peace and an easier pathway. Willpower keeps you separated from your strength. When you have the notion that it's I alone who makes things happen, we negate the source of our power, which is the creative void where willpower can't enter. No one is better than willpower to get the ball rolling. But if you don't employ your other teammates, your chances of scoring a goal are slim. You're not alone. You just have to stop using your willpower long enough to ask for help. It's in abundant supply once you discover there's more than I. If your life's mantras are tough it out, nose to the grindstone, just do it, or anything similar, you're misusing the power of willpower. They are great appetizers, but a steady diet of them will give you acid reflux. The ancient Chinese wisdom could have just as easily been stated as the longest journey begins with willpower. All the best, John.